this is going to determine, again, whether we're going to continue to make progress or fall back to those failed policies that drove us into the ditch. Beautiful day. Now let me just quickly introduce our state representative, someone who has been doing a fantastic job, not only for this campus, but for her entire assembly district, Jen Schilling. Jen. And uh, we need to make sure here that we can get Democrats, Democrats across the finish line. And I need your help. Ron needs your help. Russ Feingold needs your help. Tom Barrett needs your help. In the next 30 days, we need your help down at the headquarters by getting down there and making phone calls. Just an hour of your time. If you've got an hour to spare, we can put you to work. And we're going to be on campus working this campus very hard because this campus has a strong history of having the highest voter turnout not in the city of La Crosse, but in the La Crosse County. And I am always very, very proud of the efforts here on campus that students get out, they are engaged, they care, they're energized, and they are willing to wait in long lines on election day if it's at the Eagle Rec Center or at a different um, location around La Crosse to vote. But because we have early voting, now people can go, they can vote at their convenience, they can go down to the city clerk. Like Ron said, if you're not registered, bring your uh, student ID and bring a piece of mail that says that you've lived there for 10 days or so. Um, and if you are registered, then you just need to go in and, and um, let them know uh, that you want to vote. And we will have long lines, I think, on election day. Every election is important. Every election is close. And they're important because we're talking about the future, the future that we want in the state of Wisconsin, the future for our country. Can you film for me? And I can tell you just, that as we've been down in Madison uh, this last session, working on a very yep. tough budget, working on uh, areas that are of importance and value to uh, La Crosse, to the state, to uh, students, I'm really proud that Assembly Democrats were able to increase financial aid, $12.4 million in this tough economic time. I'm really proud that we were able to add an additional $5.2 million to uh, our technical colleges. At the time that we've got people out of work, they're displaced, they need to know, learn new trades, new skills, to get them back to work. And I think I'm really proud of the fact that the governor wanted to raise La Crosse's auxiliary fund, and we were able to work together and change that and restore $2 million to this campus right here. That is real. Studying all the time, by the way. Studying all the time. <laughs> no partying. Yeah, well, my first two years I was. I was. But I, I realized what my priorities were, and I knew I needed to buckle down. And I can tell you that the landscape of this campus has changed a lot in the last 20 years. We see a lot of cranes on this campus. Cranes mean progress. Cranes Place mean jobs. We are in the shadows of our new academic building. I'm very proud of that. Our Reuter Hall, New President's Hall, not too long ago that that was completed. We've got students living in there a new residence hall that we're going to have over on the other side of campus. We are humming along our new um, uh, sports complex, football stadium and track. And I am really proud that I've been able to help shepherd lacrosse uh, as we had, need sharp elbows at that table in Madison uh, to get our fair share back here and look at our infrastructure here on campus. And we are a campus of choice. And I'm asking you to make sure that you choose the Democrats who will continue to help you uh, uh, find jobs, have the training that you need, the education that you need, and continue with the financial aid that, that we need as students are looking to figure out how they can finance their education. So we are looking at uh, all these races are going to be close, and we really need your help. And we need you to bring three to five friends to the polls and get them out to vote as well. Like I've said, I want to make sure when I open up the paper on November 3rd, that the campus here has the highest voter turnout in the county of La Crosse, and that's what makes me proud. We need to rock the vote here.